Hello guys, I've got this problem today for the first time. Well, actually I'm dealing with hardware for the last 20 years and I never, never had this problem. And um, I spent last two hours to solve it and I was really sure that it would not work well because I tried really everything. I have Asus motherboard and uh, I have here 64 gigabyte RAM memory. And what I actually did uh, today, I put another two uh, RAM memory um, sticks here, like the third one and the fourth one. And after that, I got a black screen. And it, I mean, you know, even with the sound, you can hear if your system is starting or not. So, and even if you press the power button on your computer, if you want, if you want to turn off your computer, and it's like you push the button and it's off in one second. You can easily understand that you know, your uh, Windows was not even starting because otherwise you have to push and to wait. So I thought for the first time, like it's something really wrong with my graphic card because like black screen, even when I took out all the RAM sticks, nothing really happens like just black screen. And uh, well, actually, if you have any problem here, you should see some message on the screen, but it doesn't really happen. I thought like, okay, something is wrong with my graphic card, but it should not. Well, because same time I have a built-in graphic card and with that, it also nothing really helps. Like nothing was on the screen. I thought like, okay, maybe, maybe it's screen problem. I tried another one and then I tried HDMA. I tried display port. Also, same result. And then I thought like, okay, maybe I should watch something on YouTube because, well, can happen. I mean, I've never done this because I, uh, my computer, I built by my own. And another, I don't know, like 40, 50 computers, I did the same. And I never got this problem. So, like, go into the solution. Um, with some YouTube videos, you can see that, for example, you can unplug your video card and then you can for sure for the for like first step you have to unplug the power supply and then like dismount your uh, graphic card and then take out the battery well there are some other solutions like to reset your bios but uh, this is for some people who are really experienced with that whatever so the easiest way is just to take out the battery so i did this for sure like after 20 minutes i when i saw that nothing really helps i took out the battery and then I left it for 20 seconds. I put the battery back. So I put everything back. I left only two uh, RAM sticks inside. And then I start my computer. And I saw that, yeah, nothing happens again. And I thought like, okay, well, strange. Because at least you should see something on the screen. So then I tried a lot of different options. Like I left only the first uh, RAM stick and then uh, like those two, those two. And then I thought like, oh, uh, yeah, it's really bad because I have to work today. I have to do a lot of stuff uh, like for my work. And it, it's really pity. Like maybe tomorrow I will go and try this uh, video card in the shop, at the shop. But well, anyways, I thought like, okay, I should fight till the end. And I was really shocked when I found a solution. It's like, it was my try, uh, last try. So what I did, I took just one RAM stick and put it here in the last slot, the fourth one. And I saw the message on the screen that uh, something was changed, like you should go in the setup of your BIOS and make like some, some, some setup there. And I was really happy because before I haven't seen anything. And I thought like, okay. So, like, as I said, my steps, uh, if you will try to unplug the battery and put it back and it doesn't really help, for sure, you should do this always with uh, unplugged power supply. So if, if that wouldn't really help you, then you should make like I did. You should again unplug the power supply uh, and then see that there is no light. So the power gone completely. Put just one RAM stick in the fourth last slot exactly this one not the first one but the last one because the first one doesn't really help me 
like all those three, nothing really helps. And then this was my last train, and with this one helps. So after I put the, the last one, I plugged the last one, I saw the message with the setup of the BIOS, I went there, I, I just uh, choose an option like load uh, default settings, I did that, and then my window starts. So I turn off my computer, and then I unplug the power, and then I plugged in and the second slot RAM stick and then again like my computer starts I saw with the windows that I have already two of them so it works so I turned off my computer unplugged the power supply and put here in the third slot the third RAM stick and then computer starts again so everything was really fine with the same I did with the fourth one and now like all 64 works. I have no idea why it like why it happens like that because I never had this problem. But I'm quite happy that actually it works. You know, there is no need to spend time and to find the solution why what exactly is, is wrong and so I really hope that this tip will help you as well and your computer will start and everything will go fine. I thought like, this is my first video I uh, uploaded on uh, YouTube uh, just because it's it's a little bit crazy, you know. Uh, a lot of different videos and stuff I was reading on the internet, nothing really helps. And just this one, it really helps. So I hope it will help you as well. If not, then definitely something is wrong with your system because like... Yeah, there is no option to try any, any other option. It doesn't really work. So good luck and I really hope that my video helped you.